I am Leslie Carter, and this is Q and A for December Flame. The space I was in mentally when I wrote December Flame, it's kind of hard to just fully say because it was two years ago. But I will say I remember wanting to feel vulnerable and wanting to talk about something that was deeper than like the trendy things that the culture talk about when it comes to hip hop. And I remember being nervous because like I hate being vulnerable. It was my first time actually being vulnerable on a track. So I want to say I was in a vulnerable state during this track, like writing this, creating this song. The beat came first. When I heard this beat, that's what actually put me in this space. Cause I was like, man, this beat is giving the vibes. It just made me want to kind of like go into a therapy session. And from there, I just started writing to it. It was really easy. It just started coming. And I just started, whatever I was feeling in that moment when I felt it, I just put it out. I put it, you know, I wrote it, so. What inspired? I guess the inspiration for this track is like vulnerability, um, accountability, reflection, you know, it, it was just real raw and truthfulness and a lot really inspired it, but that's pretty much, you know, everything that I, I feel inspired it, just wanting to get on there and talk about something real, something that's relatable and something that I felt was a great message. Well, my vibe for writing is a little different for record from recording. When I write, I feel like I need to be isolated. I need quietness. I just want the beat to keep playing. That's if I'm writing to a beat. Now, if I'm not writing to a beat, I can be watching TV. I can be washing the dishes. I can be doing something active and right. Studio, I want it dark. I need the lights low, neon lights. And so it really just depends, but them are my two vibes for writing, like in a uh, recording. Yeah. My favorite bar on December Flame, I really, that's a hard one because I love the whole song. Um, with it being two years old, I do wish I could tweak it, but I'ma just let it ride. I'm not gonna stress about it. I'ma just let it ride. But, um, cause my flow totally different now. You know, this was two years ago. But I would say, um, when I say, uh, had to check myself cause I'm the one who matter lessons learned. Now I need them blessings, watch them tables turn. And I feel like that was when I was being real with myself, like taking accountability, like had to check myself because I'm the one who matter. Like we can point the finger, you know, they did this, this is my circumstances. But in that moment when I wrote that, I was like, damn, you know, I had to check self, like regardless, like this shit, my fault, my situation, whatever. Like that's one of my favorite. And then my second one was probably be, um, uh, I'm built for this. That's not how you built. That's that BBL, these hoes, hell, but I don't never hate. I just laugh and swipe. And I remember being nervous about that because I was like, oh, I hope my, my homegirls with the BBLs don't take this shade. But it was like, nah, it was just like a, it was kind of like a play on BBL. Like, you're not naturally built like that, but I'm built for this. So, yeah, I love it. They're my favorite too, probably. So, yeah, that's the Q&A for December Flame. It'll be on all music platforms Christmas Eve, December 24th. Y'all can check it out. Let's go.